Okay, when working in Excel, um, I want to point a few things out to you. Here's an Excel spreadsheet, a few things to remember. Um, number one, do not have any blank columns. And as you can see here, column B, even though it looks like there's something in it, there's really nothing in it. When you, It's all in column A. When you click here and make column A wider, you can see everything is in column A. There is nothing in B or C. So to delete those columns, I'm going to select them like that. Then I'm going to right click and delete. The next thing, okay, you need to determine uh, unit cost. So I'm reading the directions for this assignment. This is assessment one, and uh, it looks like return airfare uh, to and from LAX is 588.15. Okay, the unit that's for one person. The unit cost for one hotel stay, um, according to the directions, is 76.20. And the daily expense allowance is 27. Now, uh, quantity, that's the number that we're going to purchase for each one. Unit cost, obviously, that's a dollar amount. So I'm going to select those. Um, and I am going to come up here to, in my home tab and I'm going to uh, click the dollar sign. That'll make them all have two decimal places and a dollar sign. Um, if you want to adju ever adjust decimals, you just use these two buttons up here, decrease and increase. Okay, uh, Number of days, obviously, that should be a whole number, that's number of days. And now we, we need to make a calculation. We need to calculate the cost. Okay, Whenever you do a calculation in an Excel spreadsheet, always start off the formula with an equal sign. And then always include cell addresses as much as possible. Try to avoid typing in actual numbers. For instance, if I were to, I need to, in order to figure out the total cost here for the airfare, I'm purchasing 48 tickets at 588.15 a ticket, so I need to multiply those two. So I could technically enter the formula like this by putting the numbers in and the asterisk is multiplication and then 48 and hit enter and it's going to give me my answer. Okay. However, what if later on I decide, oh no, I don't need 48, I need 50. Now I'm going to change that to 50. My answer does not change. Okay. I'm going to undo and make that 48 again. So here's how, instead of using numbers, use cell addresses. So equal sign. I'm going to point and click on the first number I want to use in the calculation. Then asterisk for multiply, then I'm going to point and click on the second number I'm using in the calculation, and now my formula is complete, so I'm just going to hit enter on the keyboard, and now there's my dollar amounts, the same as I had before, but now watch, if I want to change the quantity to 50, now my answer changes, which is why we use Excel, so I'm going to undo and make that 48 again. Now uh, to find the hotel stay, well I need 24 rooms, at $76.20 a room for 52 days. So again, equal sign times times and enter. And now the next formula that I want here is identical to this one because we're going to multiply those three again. So I'm just going to point here in the lower right corner of the cell. When my pointer is a black plus sign, I'm going to click and drag it down. And that copies it. And I can I can look here click there and look up here in the formula bar and I can click here and look up here in the formula bar and see that they have changed. Okay, now I need to add, I need to find the total, I need to add this column. Okay, now I could do this, equal sign, this, plus, this, plus, this, and hit enter and I would get the right answer. However, I never, ever, ever want to use the, I never want to do it this way for cells that are adjacent, cells that are right next to each other. Okay, um, I would do this for cells that are non-adjacent. For instance, if I wanted to add uh, B6, C7, and B8, okay, then I would use something similar to this. But since these are adjacent, I'm just going to come up here to my auto sum. I'm going to click the down arrow, click sum. And I'm going to point here and click and drag to here. I'm not going to have it include E9 because there is nothing in E9. So when it says E6 colon E8, I'm going to hit enter. And there I have my total. 
Now, the last thing I'm going to do, and for all spreadsheets you should do this, is merge and center your title. So I can see in this spreadsheet that my spreadsheet has information in columns A, B, C, D, and E, but nothing in F. It stops at, at E. So for each row, I'm going to click and go over just one row at a time, A1 to E1, and in the Home tab, I'm going to click Merge and Center. And you, you have to do them individually. It won't, you can't do them all at the same time. 